Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about blue-green deployment. Now basically if you have ever observed, there are a lot of applications or services which we use, it says that they are going for the maintenance at this time and most of the time, the maintenance of that particular website or web application happens at the night time. Now think about those developers who are sitting there waiting for the night time to deploy the application or maybe they can schedule the updates but still they have to be there because what if something goes wrong. The thing is, why these updates are happening at the night time is because they have less users. Of course, it depends upon the region as well. Example, if I'm doing a update for an application which will be used in India, I will be doing that update at the night time in India because you'll be having less users. Now what happens is every time you have a new feature, so let's say you got an application which is let's say version 2.5 and now you want to release version 3.0. Now at this point, you're running server the server which is live need to be shut down and it has to be upgraded and sometimes it takes time right to upgrade your entire application maybe let's say two seconds or 10 minutes or one hour now in that particular time the users will not be able to use your application and that's why it happens at the night time right but think about the people who are behind this updates they have to be there now you might be thinking, okay, what, what's the big issue? We will be doing updates once in a year or once in six months. And if it, the system goes down for, let's say, one hour, that's fine. We'll update our users. See, that's the old technique, right? Nowadays, what we want is instead of updating the service after a few months, we do updates in a week now, right? So that's the uh, agile way of doing stuff where you want to get the customer feedback instantly. Now, when you want a customer feedback, of course, you want to push the new features. And for that purpose, you will be updating your software frequently and imagine going one hour off in a week. You, your user will not be satisfied with that. So there are two issues. First is the major one, which is where your customers will face an outage. Basically, they will not be able to use your application for that particular time. And second issue is the developers, of course, or the ops team, they have to sit there. Now, even if you deployed your new version from 2.5 to 3.0, what if something goes wrong? Of course, you tested it properly. So you tested the entire project, entire package, internally, privately, and everything was working there. Suddenly, the moment you make it public, it is not working. Again, you have to go back to the older version. Again, you have to face the outages. Now, what is the solution for this? The solution is the blue-green deployment. Now, do we really have to paint your application with blue color or green color, uh, not exactly. This is just a term. They also use term like red, black, or uh, having a secondary instance. Doesn't matter, name doesn't matter. What's important is this concept simply means you'll be having two running instances at the same time. That's right, two running instances. Now in this two instances, one will be called a blue server or second will be called a green server or maybe a blue instance or a green instance. Now at one point, only one instance will be live, okay? So even if you have two instances running, and even if both are running, but then only one will be live for the public. So let's say in this case, you have blue. So all the users are actually using this blue instance, right? Now in this blue instance, you are doing all the operations. In fact, this is responsible to accept the user request, respond to it, or maybe this is connected to some other servers as well, or maybe some to a database. Now, parallelly, you'll be also having a green server. Now what's the use of this green server? Now this is there sitting idle, doing nothing. Now, as a DevOps team or as a developer team or ops team, you want to push a new update from 2.5 to 3.0. Of course, you will not be doing that on a running server because that's running, right? So what you will do is you will do the update in the green server or the green instance. And you will say, okay, I have the new package. Everything is tested. Let's deploy that on this green one. Now, the moment you upgrade your green instance to 3.0 and you think it's ready to li go live now, you will gradually move your users from the blue instance to the green instance. Of course, you will not be moving everyone because what if something goes wrong? So maybe do it gradually. At least if something goes wrong, least users will be affected. So you are gradually moving your users from blue to green. And now once everyone is moved to green instance, see at this point, when they are moving, both instances are live. But the moment you got all the users on the green instance, now your blue instance can go to idle state. You don't have to destroy it because in a blue-green deployment, you do need two servers running or two instances running. Now what is the role of blue one here? So blue one is there sitting idle. Maybe you can use it as a recovery server. What if something go wrong goes wrong with the green server? At that point you can say, okay, we do have a blue instance and just route all the traffic to blue. And once you are confirmed that the third instance is running perfectly, 
uh, you can just also upgrade your blue one to 3.0 and then again you're not using 3.0 blue version but it's there now what if after some time you got a new update now since we are into a phase where you want to upgrade your services continuously right uh, there was a time when you used to provide the updates monthly but now because of this new service or new feedback from the customers we push the updates continuously now at this point let's say you got 3.1 version now where you will update it on the green one no you have to do that on the blue now the same process which went for the green one will go for the blue one as well so even in the blue one you will push the update and then again it's still private once it is 3.1 it is still private and now once you think everything is tested well it's time to go live what you will do is you will gradually move your users from the green instance to the blue instance and once everyone is moved you can you can change your green one as well and make it 3.1 so that's again just a concept you can do that using the cloud services uh, so of course you also need a router in the front who will change this uh, directions right so if a user comes user is not saying i want to go to blue one or green one user has no idea it's the route time between which you have to configure to mention okay which one is live and which one will be idle now it's not actually a good idea to use both of them at the same time if you think okay we have two instances let's use both again there will be a problem when you want to upgrade it so the users who are using the uh, the second instance will be facing issues so that's it from the blue green deployment let me know your thoughts in the comment section and let me know if you need such more videos in the future so thanks for watching hit that like button and do subscribe for other videos bye bye